Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Um, my mom was just calling with an update with my grandpa. Um, they're at the hospital, so it sounds like he is doing okay, um, and they're going to be running some tests. So I didn't want to take a phone call while I was live with you guys. <laughs> uh, my grandpa's medical stuff. So um, we're back, and I was doing some earrings. Um, I was just cleaning them up for you. So you just saw me a couple minutes ago. We cleaned up these and demolded the other stuff. So um, I was just cleaning up the kite diamond shaped pair now. So um, I scraped off the excess that I could and I'm just kind of filing down any edges that there might be and yeah so that one's all done um if i can ever break any of it off i just do that but it looks like i just did one heck of a job over pouring so my handy dandy razor blade will take care of it Are you using a nail file? Yes, I am using a nail file. Um, I just find it easier to control than just sandpaper. I think it's just a personal preference though. I actually use nail files on my, um, on my tumblers too. On like the top part, like I'll file this little part Right there down with a nail file. It's kind of brilliant, I know. <laughs> Cecilia, welcome to my live. Okay. And I just buy like bulk nail file packs on Amazon. And they actually have them in like different, like, grits or whatever you want to call it. Is that the word? Is that the term? I think it is. Well, I didn't over pour the hole on this one, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> um, this one's actually peeling off pretty easily. It's the alcohol ink one. So if you remember from yesterday, I poured a little bit of epoxy, did my inks, and then I poured more epoxy over it. So it kind of gives you a different design. You can kind of see the lighting is crap, but yeah. But these edges are actually pretty darn good. And I'll be sure to post pictures of these for you guys too so you can actually see the detail in them because I know my lighting right here just isn't the greatest. And the sun's even out today. Oh, these ones turned out so pretty. I just feel like I can control the nail file so much better than sandpaper. This, I came up with this because one day I was doing my own like fake acrylics on my nails or whatever. And then I was working on a tumbler and I ran out of sandpaper and I didn't want to go out to my garage. So I grabbed the nail file and I used that and it was just like, Boom. Genius. 
So this one has a little bit of the alcohol inks kind of gumming up the earring hole here. So I'm just taking my razor blade and going around the edge. Those ones are done. The little gold flake ones. And I'm sure I'll get people asking on this one too where the molds come from. Um, Mama Boss Glitter. Sorry, I started reading I started reading a comment and then stopped like mid-thought. Um, Mama Boss Glitter has all sorts of jewelry molds and she's working on getting some more in right now. Um, and same with the dried flowers too that I used. If you missed my live yesterday, um, the ones that I have currently are from Wish and Amazon. Um, Amazon's a bit pricey, Wish is a bit dicey. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> um, oh, I got distracted. Um, so we'll have them in here soon with Mama Boss, and we won't have to worry about that, which is what I like, one-stop shop. Um, Jessica, I use nail files to use the mod cups and molds. It's amazing. I know. It was like a total game changer for me. So all because I was lazy one day. <laughs> they are a little bit more expensive than sandpaper, but I don't know. I feel like I get more out of it. Because sandpaper just rips and tears for me. And I get frustrated. Working with jewelry kills my hands too. If I would have been more careful pouring them, then I wouldn't have had to do all this. But I was more trying to get them poured and out of the way so we could move to a new new technique. Oh, I just ripped my glove. The only reason I really use gloves while I'm doing this part is that the edges can be sharp sometimes. And I'd rather rip my glove than cut my finger. Sorry for the awkward silence while I'm doing this. So if you watched my keychain tutorial, um, you'll kind of know how I did the, the edging on them. Um, it's the same concept for these. Um, I'm not going to do the circle one. I already have some flower ones to show you guys. Let's just get the mica glitter ones done. And we'll move on. But um, so it'll be the same same idea with the keychain edging for the jewelry um, and then we'll do the hardware oh my hands hurt so bad I went and had carpal tunnel testing and they're like nope it's not carpal tunnel and they thought it was my back so they sent me to get stuff done on my back and now they think it's something in my neck pinching something all the way down to my hands so my hands stop working I don't know what it is. I just know it sucks. So I'm thinking I'm going to edge these ones in a silver to match 
the one carat glitter. And that's that silver is um, on the bottom is one carat from Mama Boss glitter. It's my go to chunky silver shiny beautifulness. Um, what are you cutting off, Brittany? Um, I am just cutting off the extra from, I wasn't being careful when I poured them yesterday. Actually, it was more when I moved them. Um, they kind of moved around and got extra along the outsides. So I'm just trimming that off right now. Um, oh, and then Brandy answered. Okay. Well... Now people watching later will know the answer without reading. So. You can get like a little utility knife like this at a hardware store or I don't know, Walmart. These are actually from my dad. He, he's a like metal fabrication business owner man. And uh, he gives them out to clients, I guess. But they're like the perfect little razor blades, so I always steal them when I go to his office. See, once you get in a groove, it goes pretty fast. Okay. Read some comments. It's a nerve that's being pinched, causing his arms pain and hindering his mobility of his hands. Actually, yes, that's that's what I have. Um, they said something like my C7 and my neck or something like that. But I feel your husband's pain. I hope that he finds something that helps him. Um, this is the bangle we did yesterday. It just had one little overpour, so I just cut that part off. Um, and I'm just going to file a little bit where that ridge was. If, if you get a lip on it, just file it down and you can use UV glue or epoxy and just take a little bit and go around um, and let that cure whether that's under the UV light or just for a few days if it's the regular epoxy um, and you can have that smooth edge then. Um, this one's actually going to be mine so I really don't care that it's a little dull on this side. It doesn't bother me, so for tutorial sake, I'm not going to do the edge because we'd be here even longer. So let's do the edging. So I want to make sure that I clean these off good before um, before I mark them up. Because I don't want to have like the dust on there and not get a clean, clean line. So I'm just taking some alcohol and wiping them off. And I like to keep gloves on while I'm working with these just so I don't get my nasty fingerprints all over. There was a pair that I did, that I thought I set to the side because I wanted to show you guys. I found one. Hold on, I'm going to tip my computer. It's sitting on something, apparently. There we go. Now you can kind of see better. Um, then I had it over here. Well, I found one. But I outlined it in a black. And I'm actually really digging it. So I think I want to kind of try other colors than just like the golds and the silvers and like the metal colors. 
Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Going back to cleaning these off. <laughs> so. I have all my little shavings. <laughs> And glitter. There we go. So I have, I prefer the Krylon leafing pens. Um, I have the Sharpies too. I just like the Krylon's tips. They're more of like a flat angle, whereas the Sharpies are round, and I can't control it as well. And that just might be my hands being my hands. <laughs> I'm not sure if other people have those issues. Um, I I don't know where my silver is in this. I think I actually used it all. But, so I'll just have to use my silver and my Sharpie and try to be careful. Um, Ashley, do you not fill the molds all the way up so the earrings are thinner? I have the smaller teardrop earring mold and I feel like they're too thick when you fill the mold. Um, no, I fill them all the way. Um, they're, I don't know how thick that would be. <laughs> They're not that thick. Um, I wear them all the time, and they're actually not even heavy. Um, that's what I was actually like concerned that they were going to be super heavy and weigh down, but they're not. They're actually pretty light. So let's start with the ones that we did with the mica and the one carat glitter. Um, so if you remember, the mica was a Pearl X mica powder from Jacquard, I think is what it's called, products. But they come in little containers like this in packs. Same brand that makes pinata alcoholics. So um, if you, like I said, if you watch the tutorial on the keychains, same technique. Come on. Don't run out on me. Be that way. Just use this one then. Oh my gosh, don't do this to me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the struggle is real. No! So I'm just going around doing the outer edge right now. Like I said, since we were sanding it down, it didn't really matter because you weren't going to see that dull edge because we're covering it. So I ended up getting a tiny, well, actually, it's not really tiny. I ended up getting a bubble in the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But above the hole up here, here on the other side, there's a bubble. So that's going to kind of make it not so pretty, but it is what it is. Um, it's handmade. It's not perfect. And I'll probably just sell it as a discount or give it away or something. But now I'm just going through and edging my edges, edging my edges. <laughs> and laughing at my own jokes. So, eh, kind of see. It's 
one and down. Let me make sure I'm answering questions too. What are the markers you're using? Uh, these are Krylon leafing pens. Put the right way. And then um, Sharpie. And I believe both the paint pens are oil-based. I know for sure the Sharpies are oil-based. Um, I saw that they make a water-based too, but I would stick with the oil-based. Um, I think the water base is more for like paper products and the oils for like wood and glass but it works really well on epoxy and acrylic too okay so I just did my outer outer edges um, I usually just take one, takes one good swoop around. Um, I'll go back over to and look to see if I have any spots that are missing or kind of uneven after this coat dries and see if I need to add anything. Oh, dang. And if you do mess up with putting the marker on, like, you know, your hand slips and your line looks like poop. Um, not a big deal. You can just take some alcohol and like a q-tip and just go around and clean it up. So that's actually what I had happen here. My hand slipped a little bit. So don't mind my fur. That's why I take my pictures. My light box is up there. Um, so q-tip. Alcohol, just put a little bit on there, and just go through and clean up that edge a little bit. So, you kind of have, huh? yay. Let's do one of the flower pairs. So, um, I think I'm going to do these ones in like a gold. Oh. This sucks. The light just sucks. Um, I don't know how much is left in here. Apparently not a lot. I really need to order more, but they're like 10 bucks a pop, and I'm like, ugh. It's expensive. Oh, did I finish answering questions? Chris, hi, I love watching you work. Hi. I love that you're watching me work. Is that weird? It's kind of weird. Um, are these the flowers from Amazon? Yes. Um, Amazon and Wish. Um, it was a combination of them. But Mama Boss Glitter will be getting them in. And um, I think she's bringing in a good variety. I was impressed with the ones that I did find, though, on Amazon as far as quality goes. Um, the price was a lot for a couple dried flowers, but I think it was worth it for for achieving this look. I'm hoping in summer that I can actually like collect some local flowers and do some stuff. My mom has like really pretty lilac bushes that um, are in her front yard in the house where I grew up. And I would love to put some of those and earrings for her. That's one of our favorite flowers. So I just did uh, that one. Ah, there it goes. Hmm. 
like I said, I'll take pictures of everything so you guys can see it. Because it's just hard with my lighting. I ordered a, like, a ring light to be able to illuminate everything a little bit better since I'm trying to do more tutorials. And, um, I ordered it on Wish, so who knows when it will get here. Hopefully soon. They're just so expensive. I didn't want to spend a ton of money, so I was like, no, I'll just chance it. And I'm getting ink fingerprints all over the center of these. So I'll have to go back through and just... Oh, yeah, because I stuck it right in the other part. Mm, that was good. That was real good, Sam. So let me take these off. What is, what if you used flowers from a wedding as a keepsake? Yes, Brandy, I was actually, um, I save all the flowers my husband has ever got me. And... I say that like it's a lot. <laughs> okay, so he's got me like probably like five bouquets in my life. Um, and that was like all before we were married. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm picking on him. He loves me. And I want to take some of those flowers and put them into one of these. I think that'd be so pretty. So right, right now I am just taking a little bit of alcohol on my Q-tip and cleaning up where I decided to make a mess of markers. So I accidentally took a little bit off of the edging. I'm just going to hit that real quick. And that stuck to me, but that worked really well to move it. Um, you know, I'm just going to do these in gold, too, since I had the marker. I find it easier to do the outside edges first and then do your edging on the front. Um, I don't know. It just works better for me that way. So this kind of gives you that like impression that it's a bezel, bezel, is that how you say it? Um, without being one. So if, if you see sometimes people posting and it's got like that really super pretty outer edge, um, it's probably metal actually. Uh, this is like the uh, DIY version of that. So I'll pick that up and show it to you in a second when it's dry. And as soon as I do this one, we will get going on the hardware. I'm not going to do those tiny little gold flake ones right now, just for the sake of time. Because since my mom is at the doctors, the hospital with my grandpa, I have to go pick up my aunt from the airport and I have to leave in like less than an hour. So if I'm rushing through and I'm not answering questions, I will make sure I go back and um, answer in the comments. I think Brandy's kind of handling things too for the live. Can I see the marker you're using? Yes. Um, Sharpie paint marker. It's oil based. It usually comes in a pack with silver and gold. Um, and then also I use the Krylon leafing markers. The leafing pen, sorry. Um, these ones are off of Amazon. These ones, I think I got it like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or 
something, Walmart, I don't know. Um, this is my little thing of earrings. Got that off of Amazon. Um, my little jump rings, Amazon. I can get links for you guys too. And these are my other jump rings, which I have both colors I want, so don't need those. Okay, so which ones did we do the leafing on first? These silver ones, so they're pretty dry. Let's move those out of the way. So we have our, I don't know, these are like, I don't know, I see like Army Mom or something, I don't know. It's that green color and the sparkles. Just, that's what I'm feeling. Maybe I should put some vinyl on them. So, because these ones are silver, I have some silver jump rings. And I have a couple sizes. And then I'll put silver hoops, hoops, hooks, hooks on those ones. So I will start with the bigger jump ring. Open that up a little bit. Put her through. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to actually close that one up. So, circle, and I'm going to open the littler one up, not a ton, but enough, and I'm going to put it through there, and then I'm going to attach it to the hook. So I really want to get like a little like soldering tool to be able to really make sure that those don't move. But come on, light, work with me. Oh, well, there's one. And then we repeat. So I try my best to be able to match my silvers and my golds. Um, I even have like a bronzy color that I like for hardware, for jewelry. I usually make like a ton of molds at once. And then I just have like a day where I just do a ton of the hardware side of it. Because once you get in a groove, it goes fairly quickly. Um, and I can show you the little tags that I use too. For displaying them. Ones are gold. Oh, that one's broken. What good that does me. I feel like my fat fingers are struggling here. Um, are those heavy? They are surprisingly light. Um, I have the first pair I ever made is like the pair that are mine. Um, cause I just couldn't get rid of them. They were so pretty and I was a little nervous and I wore them to an event. So I had them in the whole time and I really didn't even notice them. And I don't wear earrings very often. I'm just not a jewelry person. 
I wear my wedding ring and that's about it. And a few of my piercings in my ears that are just like stuck there that I never touch. And I don't know, I liked them. They looked pretty, I got a lot of compliments. And I use, um, the metals I have are nickel free because I have sensitive ears, so. And the gold jump rings I found at Michael's because I was having trouble finding, I was having trouble finding them really anywhere else. I could find silver everywhere. Now for these littler ones, I'm just going to do the one, the one hoop. I'm not going to do the two. And I want that one. And these gold ones actually are a little bit harder to close, so sometimes I have to use two pairs of pliers to like hold it in place and then to squeeze it shut. And that might actually be what I have to do. Nope, I got it. Okay, last little jump ring. Erin joined. Aaron, long time no talk. Hi. Aaron was like one of my best friends in high school and then she moved away because she sucks. No, I'm just kidding. I love her still. But she moved away. And now I never see her or talk to her. Okay. So. We got our hardware on. And then this one apparently didn't close very well because it fell out. And I said I would show you my little things that I do to put them in. So, reach. I get some cardstock. And I have a little, where it is? This little guy that I got at Michael's that makes a little tag. And I've saved a lot of money. On buying tags by doing it this way and I can cut a whole bunch out on a piece of cardstock and that's it's like a thicker a thicker cardstock so it's not super flimsy and then I got a little tag and then I take a whole punch and I because I have a, like a little display for when I do shows, that I put them in there. And then I have stickers that I put on them, which I don't think I have any kind of close to me. But the final product ends up looking like these. So it's got my little like sticker on it that says like handmade with love, find me on social media and my handles. And um, I keep them in these little bags so that they stay nice. And then when I get orders, I put them into like these cute little guys, which I don't remember where I found these. I wanna say Hobby Lobby, but I'm not for sure. Um, so like once I put my sticker on them, then I take Move that out of the way. I just take like a weeding tool and I literally just poke a hole and then I stick my earrings through them. Easy peasy. Uh, this guy I'll take like a gold tassel maybe. Maybe a white. 
know. This is like my drawer of keychain goodies. I have some like, actually this is a super cute one. I buy them when they go on clearance. And then I have, oh. like I bought these hooks on clearance and that's the ones that were on my example that I did. The thing I'm struggling with is that um, I just don't feel like they look good on there. Like I can't close them up nicely. Um, if I have my example one, I don't know where I put it. I showed you guys in the other video. Um, but like the ring doesn't clasp all the way. So I want to try to find some bigger jump rings. And when I do that, I will let you guys know where I find them. Um, because it's kind of a pain in the butt to try to put them on otherwise. And yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna try to make something myself and if it works, I'll show you. If it doesn't, then I won't. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try to use some like faux leather and maybe make like my own kind of like a lanyard or something, so. Um, I think I covered everything. Um, Stephanie says, oh, I don't have a mustache. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Samantha. I have a master's degree and I make weird videos on the internet. Um, I can't find anything that will clip around it. Yeah, that's my struggle too. Um, I really like, it's gotta be kind of close. But I was like working on a bunch of stuff and I literally just like shoved it over to the side so that I could... I could do this video. Oh, it's right here. I remember where I put it. So you can see I got it around, but this won't close all the way. So this can fall off if it hits it right, which is super annoying. So I need to find something that'll work better. Um, or maybe go get that soldering gun thing that I want and just solder it shut. My dad taught me to weld when I was like 12. I feel like I can do it, it's fine. So, um, I'm gonna call her quits and hope that this guy uh, helps you guys. Sorry that it comes in a bunch of weird parts because my family emergency drama, so. Talk to y'all later, bye.